Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another Minecraft 1.2 video. Today, guys, we are gonna be showing you guys how you can get capes on your own Minecraft skins. So if you're interested in getting yourself a super sweet cape on yourself, then be sure to stick around because this video is gonna be lit. So the first step to getting yourself some capes for your own Minecraft skin is you're going to have to download the file that we have in the description below. So go ahead, click on that link in the description below and download the file. Once you got that all up, you should just go ahead to your downloads and go to wherever it is. And as you can see, there'll be something like this, mineconcapes.mcpe pack. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to now have to click on that file. Then once it's all imported, which it should have done after you have clicked on the file, it will say something, it'll take you to Minecraft and they'll start importing the pack. But once it is done with that, you are set to go. Anyway, once you have done that and it's successfully imported the, 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 the pack, you're going to have to go to your skins and then you're just going to scroll down, 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 down. Anyway, then you'll see something like this. They'll say Minecon Scapes Skin by Golden Apple YT. Now, over here, you will not see your skin as of yet because, of course, you have not put your skin there. So you'll probably see like a Steve and then an Alex and that. But you, they will have the cape. So if you just want to use these, then of course you can do that. But if you want your own skin on it, like what we've done over here, well, we're going to show you how. So first of what you're going to have to do is go into your file, any type of file search or, or manager or anything. Then find a skin that you want to do. Just simply copy it and then you can we can do the next step. Then go to internal storage. Then go to games, com.mojang. Then you're going to have to scroll down to skin packs. Then you're going to go to minecon cape. And anyway, once you're here, you will see that there is, of course, a Steve skin and an Alex skin. So basically what you're going to want to do it's going to want to delete the skin, so go ahead and click delete, alright? Do that. Then after that, you're going to have to paste the skin that you copied earlier. So as you can see, you've now, like, pasted down your skin. Now you're going to have to name it the name that of the skin that you just deleted. So let's go ahead and click rename. And then you're going to have to name it this. So it's either going to be Alex or it's going to be the Steve one that you're going to have to rename. So, of course, we got rid of the Alex skin, so we're going to have to rename our custom skin also Alex. So, once we've done that, we are set to go. Alright, so now once you've done all that, you're back in Minecraft. It should hopefully have replaced whatever Alex or Steve skin that you replaced. So, let's go into skins. You're going to go back down to wherever the, the Minecraft skin pack is. Now, as you can see, the Alex has been replaced with your own custom skin. So there you go. Now all the the all custom skins all have the different types of capes. Now of course you can either do this with Steve or Alex. It's totally your choice. So now the last thing we're going to actually show you is show you what all the different capes look like. Alright, so let's go through all the different capes. So as you can see, I have the 2011 uh, cape, which is basically like a fire Creeper, so it is one of the options you can use. Then if we look at Scooby over there, you will see that he has the 2012 skin pack, so it also looks pretty cool. So next up, we have the 2013 uh, cape, which is what I have over here. And if we check out Scooby over there, you will see that he has the 2015 skin pack. Now, 2014, there was no Minecon, so don't expect a 2014 Cape. And finally, the most recent skin cape is actually this one over here, the Ender-themed um, one, which was hosted last year. So yeah, so there's all these different capes that you can put on your custom skins. They look pretty cool. Of course, if you were to wear an elytra, you won't actually see the cape, but when you take off the uh, elytra, you will once again see the cape. So anyway, that's all we wanted to show you. We just wanted to show you guys how you can get capes for your own custom skins in Minecraft. It is pretty cool, and it's pretty awesome to have a cape. Hopefully one day, they'll fully just add it into the game. But anyway, that's it. We hope you enjoyed. Smash that like button, subscribe, and with that being said, we will see you next time. Peace out, everybody.